full-blown feature-length Hollywood movie, they're going to shoot this scene to death. They're going to do. I mean, they're going to do. They're going to do that wide shot from back there, and then they're going to do a more medium shot from right here, and then they're going to do an over-the-shoulder here, and they're going to do a single on Terry, and then they're going to come over here to Trina. They're going to do the same thing over the shoulder, single. Okay, that's the end of that scene. But the scene might not even. You know, they might not even use. If they did ten shots, they might not use eight of them. They're still going to make them because they want to have the. You, you know, how do you tell the story is the question, right? And, and you can't tell the story if you don't have the shots to tell the story. You can't tell the story in a different way. You can't focus on Terry while Trina's talking to see what Terry's reaction is if you don't have that shot. You could tell the whole story from back here on the wide shot, but then you never get to, you know, if, if I want the audience to notice how she's reacting to what Trina's saying, then I got to have that shot. So that's why when you get a two-page script, you want to start to think about those issues. How do I tell the story? You're all sitting around the campfire at night. It's your turn to tell the story. How are you going to tell the story? Because the, the thing is, the stories, aren't, the stories are old. The stories are old. The stories aren't new. Most of the stories are just are just refigured ways of telling old stories, right? And when you do that, then you realize the only issue there is left is, all right, how do I tell the story? If I'm going to tell the story about a guy who's been, a guy who's been done wrong in a criminal undertaking, uh, and I just start off from the beginning, and he meets his criminal pals, and they go off and do the job, and he gets taken, taken for a ride on the whole deal, all right, that's one way to do it. But if I start out with the guy dying at a desk in a medium shot, and he says, oh, let, me, let me tell you how this happened. <laughs> that's a whole different way of telling the story, right? And that's, those are the kind of things you need to think about. Because we've all can, heard can these stories Can we do something before. with you two? Uh, you take your hands out of your pockets. You yeah. put your hands in your pockets. Sure. Now, um, Greg probably has something to say about this continuity, what we right. just did. So okay. continuity being the other issue. There's a couple issues involved in shooting a thing like this. Continuity is a big one. So you usually have somebody who's taking care of watching that stuff. That's all they do. That's called a script supervisor. And they've got the script in front of them. And they know that at a certain point, Trina put her hands in her pockets and Terry took hers out. And she knows, the script supervisor knows, at what point in the conversation that happened. Because then when you do the second take and they don't do it at the same time, she'll say, oh, we need to do that over again because last time Trina took her hands out at this point in the conversation and Terry put hers in at this point in the conversation. And that's what keeps you guys as a viewer in the story later on. Because all of a sudden, if, if so we're shooting this and we shoot the wide shot and now we're going to shoot the close-ups and we just had you switch, switch sides. And now, you know, and now when I'm shooting this angle on Trina and the background's different than what I remember from the wide shot, you go, huh? What, what, what happened here? So continuity is a way of keeping the viewer inside the story. Now you can sometimes upset that. You can decide, I don't want them to stay inside the story. I want them to be conscious of what's going on here. So maybe it's an argumentative conversation here, and you might do this. You might do that wide shot from back here, they're having a conversation, it starts to get argumentative, and you just start to you just start to cut without you just start to cut pieces out, cut the pauses out between what they're saying. So now it's a series of what are called jump cuts. 